What's up guys, my name is Ace, and a few days ago I made a video talking about sprint out tuning on a couple attachments and how if you tuned multiple attachments in the direction of sprint out time, you would see a massive improvement to your sprint out time to the point where with some guns you could practically eliminate it entirely. However, unfortunately, less than two days later, they ended up patching this and adjusting things. So today I wanted to cover the new adjusted values here so you guys can see just how much this has changed. Now, just a quick recap of what this was all about. If you use the OLEV or seven milliwatt laser, whatever that equivalent is, you get about a 10% improvement to your sprint out time. Additionally, if you use the TrueTac X10 demo clean shot Schlager style grip, the one that helps with aim down sight speed and sprint out speed at the cost of recoil control, this would give you a 15% improvement to your sprint out speed. And since they have an additive improvement, if you stack these together, you get a total of a 25% improvement to your sprint out speed. Keep in mind though, this is with the base attachments. This is without doing any tuning to them whatsoever. And just to be clear, this has not changed at all. The only part that has changed is the tuning values. So let's hop into the before and after with all of the guns that I did testing with pre-patch for that video. And starting it off, let's have a look at the M4. If we tune in the direction of sprint out time on both of those attachments, pre-patch, our standard sprint out time was just 75 milliseconds, which is insanely fast. And our tactical sprint out time was also very respectable at 158 milliseconds. Whereas post-patch with the exact same tuning values, now it's gonna be 130 milliseconds and 200 milliseconds respectively. Which to be fair, is still a very impressive sprint out time. It's not quite as good as the base SMG sprint out time, but it is still very solid for an assault rifle. Next, let's have a look at an SMG with the VEL46. Pre-patch, our standard sprint out time was 16 milliseconds. That was ridiculously fast. It was almost instant. Whereas now, with the exact same tuning, it's gonna be 70 milliseconds. So quite a bit slower, but again, this is still a really, really fast sprint out time in this game. Then with the RPK, we could get a standard sprint out time of 100 milliseconds pre-patch with this tuning, whereas post-patch, it's 150 milliseconds. With the FTAC Recon, pre-patch, it was 50 milliseconds. Post-patch, it's 140 milliseconds. And then finally, on the P890, pre-patch, we could have a practically instant sprint out time at about five milliseconds if you tune for both of these attachments, whereas now it's 40 milliseconds. And that covers it for all of the weapons that I tested pre-patch and was able to compare post-patch to. And a big trend you probably noticed there is, while it's definitely very noticeably slower than it was pre-patch, we're still getting great sprint out values when tuning towards sprint out with these attachments. Additionally, something that was mentioned in the patch notes, but unfortunately I didn't do any pre-patch testing with, so I can't really show you exactly what changed here. They did mention that they considerably decreased the negative impact of tuning against the sprint out time as well. So if you tune in the opposite direction with these, it's not gonna be harming your sprint out time nearly as much as it used to. So overall, when looking at these changes to the sprint out tuning, I honestly don't really see much of an issue here. In the case of some of the guns like the P890, for instance, yeah, it was a little bit broken that you could have a practically instant sprint out time. But then again, we have had Call of Duty games where with a certain perk, we could eliminate sprint out. And I do feel like the faster the sprint out time, the more you encourage people to get moving, get around the map a little bit more. And that tends to lead to more enjoyable gameplay overall, at least in my opinion, when people are actively moving around and engaging with the gameplay, rather than sitting and waiting for someone else to engage with the gameplay, that just tends to be a more fun experience. But again, like I said, post-patch, we're still getting great sprint out values here. I'd still recommend tuning in the direction of sprint out if you are looking for that really fast sprint out build because you can see some very significant improvements. Now, having said all of this, I was quite disappointed when I saw these patch notes come out. Not necessarily because this was a terrible change or a really significant change or anything. Like I said, the base sprint out times are still very solid with these attachments and tuning is still helpful with this. The thing that rubbed me the wrong way with this one is when I released that video, I was generally seeing quite a positive response to that with people saying like, hey, finally, I can create some really fast sprint out builds. I can play more aggressively. I had a few comments with people saying, hey, I might actually come back and check the game out because I haven't been playing in a really long time because I got bored of it, but this will offer a new way to approach the game aggressively. So people were quite excited about this. And then Infinity Ward patched it within 48 hours. Whereas when it comes to the long list of issues and complaints that we've had with this game, it's just been like dead silence for months in some cases. Now, of course, in saying that, I do realize some things take much longer and a lot more effort to work out than others. Some things can be hotfixed, other things need to be done in a title update. 
but it just seems so strange that when there's something that's discovered in the game that has a generally positive reaction within the community, it's nerfed almost instantly. Whereas when you see the same complaints popping up over and over and over again about a particular aspect of the game not working as intended or being really unbalanced, for instance, it seems like there's no rush at all to take care of those things or to even communicate about those things. And that's the part that really annoyed me with this. Something positive that the community likes, fix it immediately. If it's something the community seems to unanimously agree is an issue or should be adjusted or implemented in the game, like maybe a battle hardened buff or a flash grenade nerf, or an adjustment to the animation speed of calling in streaks, for instance, which has been complained about since the beta, but we just recently saw an adjustment to that. It just seems really strange to me the priority that various issues get. And with that, I think that's a good place to leave this video. Again, not complaining about this change itself. I, I don't think this was necessarily a bad change. It does make more sense now. This is more what I would have expected to see while tuning these attachments. And you can still get some very solid sprint out times in this game. Of course, this is where I want to hear from you guys, though, in the comments down below. First off, what do you guys think about the changes that they made to the sprint out tuning? Do you think this adjustment was reasonable? And second, what do you think about the fact that they just got on top of this so quickly relative to other things in the game that are either clear issues or just things that it seems like the general community really wants to see some changes to? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.